Hey y'all, if there's any y'alls here. Oh, there are, there are four y'alls here. Does it show me who? Because I know at least one person who's here and I wouldn't at all put it past Beth to be here. Anyway, friends and spies. See, there's your gender neutral greeting if you need one for like, instead of ladies and gentlemen, just be like, friends and spies, welcome. I thought I would jump on here. I am not on campus because uh, Mills has police now and the police came asking questions and I was a little bit ready to have a conversation about starting with, I'm very curious about whose jurisdiction those police are even for. But anyway, but Shay and Yolanda are smarter than I am and were very kind and ran interference. And here comes my wonderful child. What's up, wonderful child? Do you want to say hi to the live stream? Oh, did you hurt your foot? Oh, your leg's itching. I'm so sorry. That's terrible. Oh, that's even worse. Do you want to run it under cold water? No, you can't. You could in the bathtub. Well, I want to keep warmer. Fair. Tough, but fair. That's a good question. If anyone knows, put it in the chat. I think paper is actually usually made out of wood. What, what do you think might make it harder to cut wood than paper? Oh, well, you're definitely getting sawdust with those scissors. Uh, you're probably dulling them, though, so you might want to use a different pair. He's like, nah. We're good. Why am I dulling them? Why are you dulling them? Because they're designed for cutting through paper and the wood seems hard, and so it's probably making them less sharp. Just taking the edge off. I'm not a not a scientist. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, but look, we're on a live stream. Okay. Whoops. Well, I, I'm sorry. I said it a couple times. I'm sorry. It's just uh, Janita and people. Just Janita and people. Anyway, you talk. okay, but can I can I talk to the nice people? Yeah. Thank you, and don't eat boxes in me. Wait a minute. Okay. My child is underslept. Anyway, there's police on campus now, or at least clowns dressed as police. Um, and they went by our gathering, and people commented on the fact that they've never seen police on golf carts and mills before. And yeah, then they came and started asking people, it was that Danny and da 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 da. And so some, someone was very kind and ran interference and had a jovial conversation with them. And, uh, and then we started. And then what? And then they said they, uh, they got and they, that somebody else talked to the police. Yeah. That Danny's somewhere around here. That's probably right. What else did you hear? Nothing. Nothing. So then, yeah, they started recording. And people started speaking and we quietly left. And yes, we just had to go. We just had to go early. But isn't that interesting? Um, I think that's interesting. You hate it when campus doesn't want me? I'm so sorry. 
I know you love being on campus. Huh? You know who would take you to campus? Janita. Anyway. Janita? Yeah. She's been dying for a play day with you. I'm making diamonds. You're making diamonds out of that plastic. I'm going to read you guys a story. It's from four score years and ten. Four score ten. Wait a minute. Four score and ten years. I've got a little diamond for you guys. Aw, it's a little plastic diamond for you guys. Be careful, it's pretty sharp. Careful, it's sharp, right? Hum. So it talks about 1871 and when they got the campus in Oakland. And everyone was going to move from Benicia, which at the time was very far away, because they could only go by horse and carriage. Oh, you said horse by carriage. Yeah, I said horse and is horse. Why don't we say horse? And fart. And fart. Horse and fart and carriage. It's true. Horses could be considered to be gas powered. Um, the harder no, they fart, the I'm faster gas. they go. I'm a cow. He's Bart really under Um, and it Bart Bart talks. Okay, let me read this <laughs> people for you. Um, <laughs> and it talks about how much it sucked for the teenagers going to Mills Seminary in Benicia because they had to be accompanied if they wanted to leave campus and like go for a walk downtown, make sure that they didn't kick up their heels and have fun. The um, says half a century later, Lizzie Trask Miller, class of 73, said, um, can you realize what the change in location meant to us? What it meant for us to be where we could walk about at will instead of promenading the village streets and state we call them two by two flanked by faithful teachers to see that riotous youth conducted itself with the seemly propriety and studied elegance of the age. Is that box empty? No, soap in it. I'm so sorry it's a box of soap. I was disappointed too. I was like, why? We don't need soap. Who set this auto ship from Amazon? Who forgot to cancel it? Still me. I'm sorry. I'll cancel the boring auto ship of soap. To be transported from the limits of the circumscribed town to God's great, beautiful out of doors to the freedom and joy of the hills. Do you like the freedom and joy of the hills, June? Well, do you like running around hills? Not that much. Not that much. That's fair. Did you cut up this plastic guy some more? No! Okay. I do not want to cut up this anymore. Oh, well, what do you want? to do with the plastic guy. I don't want to do anything. Oh. I got up everything I wanted to do. I'm so sorry that you don't find joy in cutting the things anymore. It's hard. It's hard to be five, but it's not as hard as being three. That was hard. Was it for me? I don't know how hard it was, but it was hard enough for you being three. But I remember frequently being like, it's hard to be three. All right. One of the happiest young girls that summer was Luella Clay Carson, who almost 40 years later was to succeed Susan Mills as president of the college. You want to be six? What happens when you're six? Get more play. Get more play? But also, I know I'm six. It's not my birthday. Okay. Let her recall the exodus from Benicia. 
toiling up the dusty road from the station in the hot afternoon sun. A little company of girls formed the vanguard of an endless procession to follow. They were weary. There is always something to regret in leaving the old. They were longing to see the new home, asking how far is it now? When all at once they crossed the entrance bridge and there it was before them. And it was theirs. And they came in and took possession. And then, like an afterthought, she adds, year by year, companies of girls have entered this beautiful college home and have taken possession, for it is and ever shall be theirs. And that's what we're fucking saying. Don't say it to me, young. I'm sorry for saying the fuck word. You mean the F word? I do mean the F word. I think it's funny to say it's a fuck word, but it's worse because I'm saying it again. You guys are missing the flyers. Oh, you're making a little sandwich. That's so nice. Well, because anyone who's on here probably isn't in person. This sign says, stop the fraud. Stop the deal. Stop the frog. Stop the frog. Actually, we like the frogs. Like They're frogs on campus. Yeah, we like saying frog, huh? Yeah, I like saying stop the frog. And quit the frog. Quit that frog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For years, the Finance Committee has been using its own tool that makes financial projections look terrible by leaving out most of Mill's revenue. They've consistently lied to the rest of the board about Mill's finances. When recommending that the board vote to give Mill's assets to Northeastern, the Finance Committee gave incorrect budget numbers for 2020 and 2021, can confirm, have spreadsheets, and left out large amounts of projected revenue for 2022. Source. Projected. Projected. I'm projected. Serious. Projected. Projected. There you projected, go. Projected. Projected. The one with the tracker. <laughs> Source. June 2021 Finance Committee report. The one that they gave them when they were like, you should vote to give all of our stuff to Northeastern. Look how terrible everything is. Ah. Ah. The executive You're committee. Not reading the book. No, I finished the part I was going to read of the book. The book is long. The executive committee has quietly been finding ways, trying to find ways to lease or sell the campus since 2013. Taking a sandwich down and taking a sandwich down. Yeah. Source Mills College 2013 to 2018 strategic plan. November 8th and 9th, 2018 board report. Dad. Yeah. Why don't we play with bread? Why don't we play with bread? You <laughs> are playing with bread. And eating it. That's a good idea, too. Mills College request for expressions of interest 2019. <laughs> board of Trustees draft proposal for Mills College oh, Institute, no. November 6th, 2020. Hi, Owen. What? I said hi, Owen. Your entire mouth is full of bread. I said hi, Owen. I was just commenting on the bread. <laughs> the Wait a minute. Who are you? Did you see a video with that? <laughs> ah. The board... The Mills College request for expressions of interest is so interesting. It's like a lavish, lavish thing trying to convince people to rent or sell, rent or buy. Pretty much as much of the campus as they wanted to develop. That's, that's the one where... Wait a minute. Who are you? That's what we want to know. We're like, bored. who even are you? Why are you guys? Well, it was actually the administration. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Don't poop. Uh, don't poop. 
<laughs> okay. Wait, not on the camera. That's the one where they ended up requesting three actual proposals from developers. They got two. I don't know. The one that they just didn't pick, which was the bigger one anyway, was freaking massive. It was like you could take this entire campus and you could put a medical center on it the size of Kaiser and you could have a giant um, 40,000 square oh, foot yeah, 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 yeah. supermarket. Oh no, come back. With parking garages and housing and it, they, you could have two of the kind of parking garage where the, the lifts your car up and parks another car under it. You could have tons more housing. You could turn all these dorms into housing. It would be fantastic. If I knew how to share my screen on this. I assume that, like, if I tried to share my screen, YouTube would be like, your account's not big enough. Your account's not big enough for anything. You were just lucky we let you live stream on your laptop, for Pete's sake. So YouTube sounds like. The board never deliberated on whether to remain a degree-granting women's college. They just spent all their time occasionally being brought the various land deals and rental deals that these shady little committees were considering and being told how crappy everything was. They never once were like, we think we should close this place. What do you think? What could we do? What are the pros and cons? Oh, it was just repeatedly presented with false, terrifying finances and possible exit strategies. The board rewarded President Beth Hillman for her help with a five-year contract of 430 k a year, that's including the retention bonus, and a severance package of more than $560,000 at the two-year severance package, and then let her negotiate a contract with Northeastern that pays even more, December 3rd, 2020 board report. And the only concrete stated purpose there has ever been for a Mills Institute is to do whatever lets it take the most money from the endowment. It's from a Zoom meeting on March 2nd that the class of 90 had with Hillman and basically every draft proposal for the Institute to date, including the facts on the website. And on the back it says, we've been lied to and betrayed and we demand action. Rob Bonta, Shirley Weber, the Education Department, and the Congressional Education Committee, you must block this fraudulent deal. Do not let California's assets be turned into Boston's profit. Do not force a majority of people of color, group of women and non-binary students, to attend a school in which people like them are routinely harassed, degraded, and assaulted. This deal will come with a body count. Block the deal and investigate the board. Northeastern University, fire the administration and pull out of the deal. Yes, we said and. This land is not yours. These assets are not yours. We are not yours to profit from. Everyone else to help, visit allformills.com. When I say this deal will come with a body count, it's because Mills has saved so many of us, so many people's lives. There's so many people to say, I wouldn't even be here today without Mills. You take these people, you demoralize them, you stress them out, you emotionally torture them and psychologically torture them the way that Beth and her administration have. <sighs> Including like current things where people have like videos of them screaming at students, like, and then just abruptly take everything away from them and throw them in with like 500 students who by Northeastern's own statistics routinely degrade women and non-binary people post like send people disgusting pictures that they don't want like audibly and visibly say degrading things about their fellow students' bodies. Like it's terrible there. And they were real excited 
when all of the numbers for how terrible it was got better all of a sudden in the 2020 school year. They didn't even bother to mention in there, like, the school was on lockdown for a lot of that. Students weren't around each other to hear each other say these horrible things. That's what worked. That's what got their numbers down, was isolating their students. Anyway... There are representatives for politicians who are there on campus right now watching various speeches. I'll get video of the speeches and put it up. And we're going to continue to fight. And we're going to continue to watch Beth run scared. And... going to be real interesting because I'm like the least vindictive I think alum. <laughs> I'm like no we don't need revenge from anyone we just need to stop the deal I don't even care about any investigation if I'm honest I just want to stop the deal we just like the college back things we'd like to rebuild Mills Mills was kind of a good idea this is a very bad idea but there are a lot of folks who are out for fucking metaphorical blood. And I think the board's gonna have some drama that it's gonna experience, regardless of the fact that it's dissolved itself. Good luck to the new administration. The queen is dead, long live the queen. Because those ghosts are mad. If y'all haven't noticed how fucking haunted that campus is, you're gonna notice it now. That's my prediction. And it's never been a good idea to stand in the way of a Mills ghost. They've got critical mass. Peace out, y'all.